Hi, this is Cynthia Xinyi Chen of Cravings. Welcome to A Sparkling Moment. Today I have Nick Domeno, the owner of Sip Fine Wine in Park Slope. And we're going to be tasting this Cremant d'Alsace from Muret. It's a family-owned winery. They've been making wine since 1648. They have some of the best parcels in Alsace. You buy a lot of wine, so why did you end up picking this wine? Well, most people come in and they're looking for champagne. Champagne comes with champagne pricing. Right. <laughs> and so a lot of people aren't really aware that, you know, s specific wines come from the area of Champagne, hence called Champagne, but they also bring a price. So most people use the word Champagne, but what they really mean and what they really want to spend is for sparkling wine. So what are they trying to spend, like $20? Yeah, around $20. And I think for around $20, this is a fantastic sparkling wine. The blend in this is really interesting. Yeah, so what's nice about wines from Alsace is that you're not sticking to the varietals that you would find in Champagne. Although there are a few in here. We've got Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Right. But in addition, we have Pinot Blanc, Pinot Auxerrois, and a little bit of Riesling. It's really nice. It's really bright and fresh, and you can really kind of taste each element in the wine. And in addition, it ages on the leaves for 18 months, so you get a nice richness, a nice broader palette to it. Cremant initially meant literally creamy. That's true. And it, it hasn't always stuck style-wise in Alsace, but in this particular instance, I think it really rings true. Yeah, because it has that sea foaminess that I just really love. Yeah, there's, there's beautiful minerality in there, and you were talking about a nice, like, precise, soft bubble. I've done some interesting pairings with this wine recently. So I had it this morning, actually, with scrambled eggs and scotch bonnet hot sauce. So that's, you, I mean, I tried it with the hot sauce. I just kind of wanted to, to push the envelope a little bit and see how far it would go. And actually, this wine stood up really well with it. And there's a lot going on in this glass. And we were discussing earlier how, as it warms up, it really kind of opens up. And so it's just a really lovely sparkling wine that you can pair with, you know, a lot of different things because of the richness of it even heavier, a little bit of a heavier fare. But if you had to pair it, what would you have it with? Eggs Benedict. Oh. Would be fantastic. Because of the sauce? Yeah, it's before, so because of that, yeah. I think it would just really be a knockout. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I should be looking at the camera. Remember, it's not a rom-com. 